In 1980, the art students at Northlake College organized their first ever student art sale. The event proved to be so popular that they're now been doing it for 30 years. Kathy attended this year's event and met some of the artists. For some students, it starts with a lump of clay. A simple lump of clay that can be shaped or rolled, chiseled, formed, thrown on a potter's wheel, prepped and glazed, or sculpted into an intricate figure, transforming that lump into a bowl or a cup or a work of art. Art students at North Lake College can learn ceramics from acclaimed professor Marty Ray, but there's a variety of classes to explore. Sculpture, one and two, and advanced sculpture. I have taken a um, painting one, two, advanced, 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 advanced. Lots of classes and lots of advantages to studying here. They've got a very good art department out here. I love their the instructors. It's, uh, they're very helpful. I, I love uh, doing the art program here. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's a wonderful atmosphere. Their art studies can take students down many roads, but one definite stop along the way is the annual student art sale. We have students that take art for so many reasons. Uh, a few students maybe are interested in art as a career that they might uh, create work and, and sell it. So for those students, it's the beginning of their process of uh, putting their work out for sale. This triptych by Stu Stewart had a lot of interest. I've had uh, four sales on it so far, and I've had a number of other people express some interest in it, and people telling me I should maybe go out and talk to Mr. Jones about consigning or commissioning some pieces out there at the new stadium. Shoppers were also interested in the paintings, ceramics, and jewelry on display. I like to work with sterling silver, and I love turquoise. So I do buy my own material, and sterling silver comes in sheets, so I do make everything, like, every single step from scratch. There are practical lessons from the art sale. I think you learn to market. Uh, which I don't think I do very well, and um, certainly the experience of putting, uh, helping put together a show. But there are intangible lessons that really help too. You find out you're really scared about putting your pieces in because you're afraid of the critique, you know, but you find that a lot of people give you some very helpful criticism or critiques, and it's very helpful. I mean, it, it gives you a new perspective other than what you see for yourself. For some students who never even thought about creating something that they might sell, uh, I think it just gives them some reinforcement, encourages them. And it doesn't hurt that they can make some extra cash at Christmas time. We have a few students that sell three or four hundred dollars, but the students that sell twenty dollars worth, if it's the first time, they are so thrilled. I, you know, and so when I get to give them their envelope, and uh, we have a treasurer that'll work with me, give them their envelope and say, this is how much you made, this is the percent, and, and they go, oh! So that's the most satisfying. And from the shoppers who come back year after year for handmade, one-of-a-kind art, here's a little tip. Well, you can't beat the prices here. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. To learn more about North Lake College's art programs, visit the website northlakecollege.edu.